Today I'll be doing a peach. Thank you for watching my video. Today I'll be doing a peachy look featuring the Too Faced Peach palette. This one has the amazing smell. This is, this is what it looks like. I'm sure you've all seen it, but I'm just showing you anyway. I was going through my makeup today, figuring out what to do. And I figured with the top I'm wearing, peach would be perfect. <laughs> so I'm also featuring some other Too Faced products. I have the foundation, the concealer, the powder, the primer and the palette. That's it. Um, I also have a pink lip gloss, but it doesn't really fit in with the peach theme of the day. So we're skipping that. I'm also using the Benefit Cheek Stars palette and the Anastasia Blush Trio with these nice peachy colors. So let's have some fun. If you like this video, please give a like or leave a comment or consider subscribing. It would mean so much to me. I'm starting out with the hangover primer. I have the mini size because the mini size is exactly half the amount for half the price. So it was the perfect way to try it out. I love the way this primer feels. And I also like the way it smells now, but the first time I thought it was a bounty bar. And I don't care for that. <laughs> I don't need my makeup to smell like candy. It makes me hungry. Try the new matte Born This Way foundation, but for today I just have the regular one. I use the shade Snow. I also have, uh, what was the other shade? Pearl, I think. I also have Pearl, but that's more of a summer shade. Not that I used it this year, but usually it's my summer shade. <laughs> this year I didn't have to change it up at all. <laughs> Using a brush to spread the foundation. you the shade I think it this is perfect it seems a little light but that's mostly because the other side is more red I really like this foundation winter summer all year round that's why I have two shades of it so let me do the other half I feel like I also didn't choose to like this foundation either. <laughs> I tried it in store, they put it on me, you know, way before the uh, COVID happened. And I liked it, but it looked a little bit cakey on me. So next time I tried it with smaller amounts and I liked it, but it still wasn't my favorite. Now I think it looks really nice. Maybe it's because I'm using the proper primer. Or maybe my skin has changed a little bit. Either way, I think this looks perfect. Next I'm using the Born This Way Multi-Use multi Sculpting Concealer. I have this in the lightest shade, it's Cloud. I also have, I also have this in the shade Marshmallow. Marshmallow. But this one doesn't really highlight anything. It doesn't make the under eye lighter. It just covers up. So it's nice for little blemishes. But this one is really good for highlighting certain areas. So I'm going to use both. And I first blend out the darker concealer. And then I start blending out the chin and the forehead and the nose, leaving it longest 
under the eyes so the coverage is the highest. For some reason I have some circles today that doesn't always happen. And I did sleep alright so I don't really know why but hey that's what this help is for. <laughs> I'm just kidding it's all just for fun. <laughs> It's very important to highlight the inner corner of the eye and also blank out the eyelid for eyeshadow. You can put an eyeshadow primer on top of it if you have oily eyelids, but I always prefer blanking out the eyes for the eyeshadow. Next I'm going to set this whole business with the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Power powder <laughs> in translucent. <laughs> so I haven't used this powder in a little while. I liked how it feels very soft. First I'm using the little Real Techniques powder brush for under the eyes and for other small parts just to make sure there's really powder everywhere. I found that if I look down and I also spread out the concealer just before I use the powder that really no concealer ever creases on me. It does darken the concealer a little bit. You can see that. Wait, let me show you. See, now it's a lot darker. So maybe this is more of a powder for all around the face and not necessarily on the center part. For me at least. It's supposed to be translucent but it really is a little bit too dark. Now with a big powder brush from NYX Cosmetics, I'm setting the rest of my face. Just for time's sake. <laughs> Otherwise it would take forever. See this power is very powder. Why do I keep saying power? <laughs> this powder is very nice on the outside of my face. And it's not too bad. It's not like I'm very dark underneath my eyes now but it's all just a bit flattened out and I wanted to create the sculpt a little bit with the concealer so that's a bit of a shame <laughs> now I know why I didn't use this powder very much lately next we're going into the cheek stars reunion tour palette from benefit cosmetics these shades are all very orangey peachy so maybe we'll use a blush out of this one, but at least we're going to use the Hula Bronzer because that's in this palette. Because that's a pretty dark one, I'm using a pretty small contour brush by Real Techniques just to make sure I'm not going overboard. And then I'll blend it out with a bigger brush. See how dark that is for me? <laughs> there really should be a palette with the Hula Light in it. But still, I really like this bronzer. The sculpt is back. <laughs> I also take a little bit down the tip of my nose and the sides of my nose with whatever is left on the brush to make the nose a little bit more distinct and then I'm also putting a little bit underneath the lips and now with a bigger brush I'm also taking some and putting it underneath the chin to sculpt out the chin a little bit and then I'm also taking it over the edges to soften everything there it's not 
too dark. It works. It works. I'm gonna leave it at that for now because I really want to use the Anastasia blush trio. I usually go for more pinky blushes so I'm always really happy when I get to use this. So we have three shades and I think they would all work. And I always use this one. Today I think I'm going to use the orange one. Let's see how that looks. Oh. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> it looks like a lot. <laughs> That's fine. Let's do a little bit more. More on the apples of the cheeks. Because it's a peachy look and the apples of the cheeks are fruity as well. So. Let's just keep it at that. I'm going for a more youthful appearance today. Now for highlight I have the perfect one. This one from MAC. It's called the Postmodernist Peach. So this one is not that strong but we already have a very strong blush so I feel like it'll be fine. My Essence Highlighter Brush, brush <laughs> and this one is made especially for really laying on the highlight. I also have the Anastasia brush but it's a lot softer so I use that for my very intense highlights and this is perfect for the slightly more modest highlights. So let's see if we can really build this up because I love a strong highlight. It is showing. Oh, that's nice. I never tried it with this blush before. I really like that combination. Let's put a little bit down the center of the nose, a little bit above the lip and chin and whatever remains on the brush on the forehead. So far it's going pretty well. Let's do the brows now. I'm going to keep it simple and just use my Dior brow pump and brow brow gel in blonde. This usually does the trick for me. But there we go. Ah, okay, this one smells like candy as well, but for some reason I'm fine with that. It's the coconut that's really, I don't know, almost sickeningly sweet. <laughs> this one's more sweet sour. <laughs> I can keep sniffing it, but ah, let's just put it on my eyes. What are we going to use? I usually go with the green or the purple section when I use this palette, but I also really like this um, nectar shade, which is really surprising. So I think I'll use that one and the peachy one, candied peach. I think that's the smelly one. And then I'm just going to darken it up with whatever I feel like fits. So let's start with Georgia. That's this shade over here and put it in the crease. You see, it seems very light in the palette, but on me it's already quite dark. So I feel like that was the wise decision. Do you still use this palette? I only got it like half a year ago and I already forgot about it. But it is really nice. So I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. It's just I don't use neutral colors very often. 
I'm starting to get used to them and I'm starting to like them. But I always go to my bright blues and greens and pinks. I'm taking this angled crease brush to deepen it up and I'm going to use Bellini over there. Let's see if that's dark enough. It's dark enough. I'm putting it in the outer corner and in the crease but a little bit lower than the last shade. And it is a little bit shimmery but I never mind that. I feel like I can still pull it off. Ooh, this is a very nice shade. Next I'm going back with my big fluffy brush and I'm cleaning it a little bit on my hand. And I'm going into Peaches and Cream, which is the lower shade. This I'm using to really buff out the edges and make the whole look a little bit more peachy. It's really too dark for underneath my brows, but I never really mind that. I just like the color. There. Now I think we're ready for one of these nice peachy shades. And I think I'm going to go with candied peach in the middle and then nectar in the inner parts. And also as an inner corner highlight. I'm using this other essence brush, which is a, which is a thick packing brush. So I think it'll do nicely. And this shade has some glitter in it. And I love glitter. <laughs> okay, so you don't really see it when it's on the eyes. That's a small disappointment. I'm pulling nectar a little bit over the peachy shade. Just to give it a nice transition. And like I said, I'm also putting it in the inner corner. Now with the same brush, I'm picking up nectar and I'm putting it underneath the lash line. I'm connecting it connecting it to the inner corner. And I'm keeping it mostly on the inner part of the eyes. Next I'm going into Just Peachy, which is the upper peachy color with the same brush. And I'm putting that more on the outer side of the lower lash line. Just to use some more colors. I think I should have used this one on the eyes as well. Let's put a little bit over top of the other one. <laughs> yes, that's better. There you go. One last sniff. And it closes. <laughs> For mascara, I'm going to use the dark brown mascara I own by Clinique. Because I feel like black would be a little bit too harsh with all these soft peachy colors. So let me really put some. I use neutral colors very often. I'm starting to get used to them and I'm starting. So we're almost done. Now we need a nice peachy lip. That's not too orange because the blush is already quite orange. And the eyes are actually a little bit more pink. 
So I'm feeling like a nudie peach would be nice. And I recently bought the Adrienne uh, lipstick by Chanel. And I feel like this could be a nice match for this look. So let's give it a try. Mm, this one has such a nice smell. I feel like that's perfect. Beach perfect. <laughs> so with that the look is finished. Let me come in a little closer and show you everything. I'm very happy with this and I think it really matches the top so that's nice. Thank you so much for watching if you've made it all the way to the end. I'm I'm really happy. <laughs> uh, uh, like I said, remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more of this content and otherwise maybe see you in the next one. Bye!